Suppose you draw one card from a standard 52 card deck. What is the probability that you get a king or a spade? So the kings are all right here, and the spades are all right here. This is different from the ones we've done earlier in this section, because now there's some overlap. This king of spades is the overlap. In other words, it's possible to draw both a king and a spade when you're drawing one card. So now we have to worry about the overlap. So the probability of drawing a king or a spade is equal to the sum of their individual probabilities minus the overlap. Well, the probability of drawing a king is 4 out of 52. The probability of drawing a spade is 13 out of 52, because there are 13 spades, 52 total cards. And the probability of drawing the king of spades, well, that's one specific card out of all 52. Now, adding and subtracting these together, 4 plus 13 is 17, minus 1 is 16. So the probability of drawing a king or a spade is 16 out of 52. And again, the reason we had to subtract off the king of spades was that otherwise we would double count it when we added them up. You could also look at this deck and just add up all the cards that meet this description, a king or a spade. So you can start by adding up all the spades and then add up all the extra kings that you haven't already counted. So you add up the 13 spades and then add on the extra three kings and get a total of 16 cards. And so you get to the same answer. Or you can start by adding the four kings and then add on all the spades that you haven't already counted and you'll get to 16 as well. Again, the point is that there are often multiple correct ways of getting to the same answer, and you can use whichever one makes the most sense in that given situation.